almost missed the game today, but not because of any shitty live stream. <laughs> Even though I knew we were playing youngsters, I thought we would steamroll them today. It happened eventually. How many times can you say that Arsenal played a perfect game where you don't have any complaints? Zero. Nottingham Forest is no slouch. They're no pushover. They're playing well together as a team. I know I joked that Martinelli was player of the countryside where he came from. What a bargain. What a deal. How exciting a player is he? No complaints about anybody, not even the usual suspects. Unai Emery, he put out a good lineup. He made good substitutions. Props to you, Mr. Unai Emery. Okay. What about that fucking Mustafi? That's two games in a row. He's played well. Two clean sheets with Mustafi in the back. Inconceivable. We might, and I say might, have to reconsider... What we want to do with Mustafi if he keeps this up. Put him in the Tower of London. Make him part of the tour. This was a wonderful, wonderful victory. What a pleasant surprise to not have any complaints with this up and down season. Arsenal does it again. Yeah. As you can see, I'm back in the United States of Canada, and people will ask, who am I? Yes, your leader is a Jamaican, Canada, English, French man, the Bob Buckland. Arsenal, buddy, what a pity. Arsenal push aside Ferris like when Rabia eat fish. <laughs> Boom, Buckland. Love all the youngsters. Them step up and deal with it. Well done, Mr. Manager and Mr. Rose Speedy Recovery. What you have to say about that, Mr. Hafisa Bum Buckland? Boom, Buckland, your leader. I was in the process of apprehending a criminal, but when me see the fifth goal by that Nelly fella, me I tell you say it was classic. Me have to let go the criminal and say, listen to me, give up yourself tomorrow. Arsenal no bad to go, Mokland. Please to subscribe to AFTV. Me I tell you no, them quality hope you know. Arsenal bad your name. No. AFTV. Five nil. This is a good Arsenal team playing the Arsenal way and we're very very happy about that so thank you very much to Raul Sarheli, Edu and Vinay as we always said they are setting us up nicely the only problem is like we have the wrong coach for the first team and but that we can visit next uh, Callum Chamber for me is the most improved player in the Arsenal squad, him, and then maybe um, Willock and Genduzi. So I'm really, really happy about that. But the problem is our first team and the defense. So Bellerin and Tierney coming in and playing a bit means like they could be ready uh, to step in and holding as well. So happy days. I think that. Um, yes, uh, Una Emery definitely have the ammunition, so whether he uses it well would be the issue. But Fabio is a good start for the EFL Cup. Thank you. Hey guys, Juan from India this week. Uh, we won our Carabao Cup game against Nottingham Forest. Pretty standard, 5 mil win, clean sheet, 5 goals, couldn't ask for more. Lots of positives to take from this game. Martinelli proving to be a second option. Uh, when Laka is out and we were worried about Enketia not being there, maybe this guy deserves a chance. He's been rapid uh, throughout preseason and he showed again yesterday with two goals. The second one, Curler, what a goal. Chambers with three assists, uh, going forward, doing the job, keeping a clean sheet at the back, doing the job. He needs to get in the team. Uh, but what was most exciting was return of Holding, Bellerin and uh, Tendi. And uh, the things look solid. Now we just need to sort out our midfield and have a structure in place, and then we can we can do some damage in the league. 
so we have got to go to Old Trafford this week and make a mark, put in a performance and get all three po points. Nothing less will count. Yeah man, Arsenal guns out, good win today. And the best part of it is that Spurs lost. <laughs> but we won, good run out, Willock, Nelson and Martinelli. What a gem. Barcelona didn't get him, we get him, we need to nurture him. Good win by all the youngins. All, them, all of them get a good run out today and we win convincingly and a clean sheet. As bad as it sounds, Mustafi got, was, was good today and we had a clean sheet and he didn't make any errors that I could see and he was actually good. He made the pass to Bellerin that Bellerin crossed the ball so we could get that goal. Bellerin is back, um, Chambers is back, Holding is back, team looking good. It's just the Caribou Cup but a trophy is a trophy and we, and we could make something happen. But a good win for the midweek. Next big game, Manchester United on Monday. Hopefully we can win. You know, but Spurs lost. Shit, Spurs lost. That's the best thing of it all. Caribou Cup. But 4 0, 5 0, I can't remember. It was just goals galore. But good, good win for the team. Arsenal guns out, bully. Wow. I cannot tell you guys how thrilled I am. Chambers is proving to be a combination of Danny Alves, Cafu and all the perfect left backs and right backs you've seen over the last 30 years. What a game he had. The crossing, the coolness in his passing. He, he doesn't even have speed really, but he's calm, very, very calm. Tini, perfect game. Bellerin coming back, assists. Holding, coming back, scores. A clean sheet. Martinez looking so cool in the back post. Like, what can I say, man? Saka, Martinelli, oh my god, Martinelli. Give that guy a new 10-year contract immediately. Make him partner Aubameyang against Manchester United in the next game. Man, I am so thrilled. The youngsters did so well. And in case I haven't mentioned anyone, they all played very well. Ozil, apart from Ozil though, I don't know. He should be really showing himself up in this kind of games. But anyway, we'll take the 5 nil win. Bring on Manchester United. Hey guys, Shakes from Betty here. It was Carabao Cup and Arsenal winning that one 5 0. I tell you, um, such a great victory. Happy for all the youngsters. Happy that Reese Nelson scored. Happy for Martinetti looking like a decent buy. Great buy. 18 years old, guys. 18 years old, and he already has that. He smells blood, man. He smells blood. Like he can, he just smells that. He's got that instinct to always score as well, which is really great. And, you know, holding coming back and also captaincy as well. The leadership, the, the leadership that he carried throughout the game was pretty immense. You can just te definitely tell that he's definitely going to start a lot of games throughout the season. So that looked really good as well. And I must say something, man. Kolasinek, you're going to sit on the bench for a while, my man. This Kieran Tierney guy, I mean, I know it's just Nottingham Forest, but the performance that he put in, absolutely sublime absolutely sublime you can just tell that this guy is going to be one hell of a star you know and it's very key that we carry on the procedure and, and in terms of having to be successful in order to keep him because he's going to become a star that year in Jenny or he was absolutely amazing hello Arsenal fans worldwide well that game tells us something it tells us that we are blessed as a, as a club we have a lot of talent I mean, where do I start from? Martinelli, Saka, Guendouzi. I mean, I can't name them all. I mean, we have so much players, so many players in this team. Um, so I was so happy to see Tierney, so happy to see Bellerin. A lot, of, a lot of players who can potentially, you know, improve us. So Emery can't really complain. He can't really say, he doesn't have the players so it will now be a case of playing his best players playing the players that he has can this manager can he use the players he has can he play his strongest team can he bring the best out of what he has crunch time he doesn't have a choice to the game itself i felt that we were in control and um I liked a lot of things. There's so many things that I liked. Um, going forwards, I mean, let's play Torreira in the base of, of, of defense, in the front of the back four. Obviously, it makes a lot of difference. 
Over and out, up to the Premier League game on Monday. What a performance, what a performance. I'm so excited, I'm so, so, so impressed. You know, one player that stood out for me, Gabriel Martinelli. That brother's going to be fire. He's going to be, what a way to introduce yourself. Scored first and scored last. I'm not talking about Kieran Tenny. I'm not even talking about Bellerin, Rob Holding. Oof, it's an exciting match. And come on, you gunners. On to Manchester United. Let's pepper them. Ah, we're curling sexy back. Who can hold four? Kama is a bitch. We make it five. This is the Arsenal we do. So, the kids did amazing. Tierney was electric. Uh, Ozil was well, sad to come off, but Sabayas came in and even, you know, gave him a good shift on the left. Um, yeah, Martinelli, I'm telling you, I don't know if Nketa is going to come back because he's going to come back to a whole new striker gunning in for his position. So we're going to see how that comes. like to see all the injured boys get on the sc score sheet. Uh, yeah, I would, I would actually like to watch this team every weekend compared to our starting 11, especially in the middle of the park. So let's go. Gunners all the way. Come on. Congratulations to the boys today. They did pretty well. I wasn't even expecting that at all. No, not at all. I'm just kidding, man. The boys did fantastically well today. Uh, Martinelli, I got Olding, Rhys Nelson, everybody did very well today. If it was my boys, Joe Willock, I think they did pretty well. I think they did pretty great. Um, I think Emery got, I don't know what he's doing for the team B, but they're doing really well. Um, I, it's one thing that I really want to say though, that I think Emery still needs to work on that defense short because we're only playing against Nottingham Forest. But other than that, it was a fantastic game today. And you can just tell that these boys are ready to lay some fire on some opposite team. And did I forget to mention, that Tottenham Hotspur, the color with the weird name and the weird logo, can even beat Kachowster? I don't even know how to say that. But still, Tottenham didn't win today, and Arsenal beat their team 5-0. It is the best day ever. I should go play lottery. What's up, Gunners? Today's game was fantastic. Uh, I liked what Unai even picked. Uh, the first eleven was superb. The youngsters, they showed their real character in the game. They really fought for the team. And I think they did very, very well. Uh, shout out to Martinelli. I really like the way he played, you know. Uh, shout out to Saka, Holding. Yeah, I think this, these boys are pushing to the first squad. Yeah, so I think when I am today, we really tried with the tactics, you know. Uh, he tried to play four at the back with the three, two holding midfielders. We really played very well. He's also sitting at number 10 and Martinelli finishing at the top so shout out to Tini since Debbie he played very well and bearing he got an assist so boom Ghana's forever the future is indeed bright for Arsenal you know our present mood looks bleak it looks like we can't tell what Arsenal will get on any match day but these youngsters have shown the senior team what it takes to win. Uh, Martinelli, I can't believe it. That boy is going to be something else. I see why Barcelona and Manchester United were chasing that kid. He's sublime, amazing. Saka, amazing. Willock, amazing. Rhys Nelson, amazing. These kids have really made me proud today. Five goals. And then... Hector Bellerin, what an amazing assist. This guy comes back from injury and his first two touches is an assist and a goal. Rob Holden. That captain and band, I think, gave him some strength. Because as soon as he put it on, he had that goal. Oh I'm proud God. to be a gunner today. I'm proud to be an Arsenal fan today. And this is how I want to feel every match day. Like, put in the fight. Even if we lose, put in the fight. And let me know that you want to win. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm a proud gunner.